Dr. Egan's from the chapel yes, sir. Starling, we're back here. Tell Lamar to come on when he's finished playing his music. Yeah, we'll be sending him that. I need a, a six-way link-up. Chicago, Detroit, what? What? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, gentlemen, you officers and gentlemen, listen here now. Uh, there's things we need to do for her. I know that y'all brought her this far and that her folks would thank you if they could for your, for your kindness and your sensitivity. And now, please, go on now. Let us take care of her. Go on now. Thank you. Thank you. OK, good. Yeah, that's right, West Virginia, Elk River. Stand by for transmission. Ray? Dr. Lamar, let's take a look at her. Okay, Starling. Bill. Star shape contact entrance wound over the uh, sternum. A muzzle stamp at the top. Wrongful death. Wrongful death. She'll have to go to the state pathologist at Claxton. Well, I, I better get back to that service. Lamar will help you. Lord Almighty. What else do you see, Sterling? Well, she's not local. Her ears are pierced three times, and there's a her nail polish. It looks like town to me. Two of her fingernails are broken off, and there's uh, there's dirt or grit under them. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. Ray, get pictures of her teeth. We'll fax them for missing persons. Right. She's got something in her throat. When a body comes out of the water, lots of times there's like leaves and things in the mouth. What is that? Some kind of seed pod? No, sir. That's a bug cocoon. But there's no way that could get way down in there like that. Unless somebody shoved it in there. She'll be easier to print when we turn her over. Lamar, will you give me a hand with this? Yes, sir, I will. Oh, Jack. What do you make of these? Oh, different configuration than the other victims. Get close-ups. Victim skin removed, this time in two large diamond-shaped sections above the buttocks. Stellate exit wound level with the second or the third thoracic vertebrae, approximately six inches from the right shoulder blade. 
from Starling. When, when I told that sheriff we shouldn't talk in front of a woman, that really burned you, didn't it? It was just smoke, Starling. I had to get rid of him. It matters, Mr. Crawford. Cops look at you to see how to act. It matters. Point taken. Ligature marks found around the wrists, not around the ankles. This would indicate that the skin was post-mortem. Time, Kelch. My move. No fair. You lured him with produce. Tough nuggies. Still my turn. <laughs> nice and slow, baby. If the beetle moves one of your men, does that still count? Of course it counts. How do you play? Agent Starling? Where the heck did this come from? It's practically mush. It was found behind the soft pallet of a murder victim. The body was in the Elk River in West Virginia. It's Buffalo Bill, isn't it? I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about that. We heard about it on the radio. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. Just ignore him. He's not a PhD. A spingid serotonia, maybe. Boy, he's a big sucker. Okay. Let's check morphology. What do you do when you're not detecting, Agent Starling? Try to be a student, Dr. Pilcher. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? The amusing house wine? Are you hitting on me, Doctor? Yes. Gotcha. What do you got, Rudin? Agent Starling, meet Mr. Acherontia Styx. Weird. Better known to his friends as the Death's Head Moth. Now, where does it come from? That's what's strange. They only live in Asia. Asia? In this country, they'd have to be specially raised from imported eggs. Uh, somebody grew this guy. Fed him honey and nightshade. Kept him warm. Somebody loved him. Thank you. 